what are the different types of PI or presbyopia implants in eye? Presbyopia implants have taken over uh, LASIK as the number one choice for people above 50 years of age who want to decrease or lose their dependency on glasses and contact lenses. But just like a good tailor knows that one size does not fit all, a good pie surgeon knows that he has to have more than one kind of pie in his armatorium to solve the needs of his patients. So what are the different kinds of pies? So there essentially there are four kinds or classes of FDA approved pies available in the United States. These are accommodative, extended depth of field, trifocal and multifocal. So let's discuss each one and see what are the advantages of using them. So the first one is the accommodative which came earliest in 2005. Before that the kinds were no, implants which were available no, were known as refractive and did not work. So essentially the modern story starts with crystal lens and accommodative implant being introduced in 2005. This had various uh, versions and then it morphed into crystal lens HD and finally into crystal lens AO or aspheric optics which is available now and a version called true line which can also fix astigmatism at the same time. The unique curve shape in which the crystal lens AO sits in the eye allows a wide range of focusing ability. And also there might be certain slight movements in front and back in mimicking the natural lens. So this allows true line and crystal lens to provide vision much further than a monofocal lens the, and its clear optics allows us to be put in cases where pe people have had previous surgeries like radial keratotomy, PRK, LASIK or other corneal refractive surgeries. Even in cases of glaucoma or dry macular degeneration, crystal lens have been successfully put. They are made up of silicon and are very flexible. Then after crystal lens, we come to the next class, which is the extended depth of field. They have some similar benefits like the accommodative type, but on looking at them, they resemble more the multifocal uh, type of lenses. And extended depth of field works on a different principle. There are some eschlets grooved in onto the lens, which allows a continuous range of focus. But the focus range is not as total as one would get with a multifocal or a trifocal. So the people where, who have this can still use this like even after radial keratotomy or early ARMD or age-related macular degeneration. Then we come to trifocal which is the newest entrant and there are some rings designed on the lenses or which are called apodizations or you can call them ring, which split the incoming light into different focus. So there'll be a focus for distance, focus for near and a focus for middle. So as the object moves from near to far, person can see this, all on, uh, images. The examples of this are panoptics and panoptic storic. As the name implies, storic will also correct the astigmatism. Finally, we come to multifocal. Now this gets interesting because even though it's multifocal, there are only two foci. Why it was not named bifocal is to avoid confusion with bifocal glasses. In bifocal glasses, there's an upper segment to see far and a lower segment to see near. But that's not how multifocal are. Multifocal also has rings or apodizations, which break the incoming light into two focus, one for distance and one for near, and there is a little overlap for middle that allows person to see at all distances. Now multifocal, because the light is not used up for middle, gives better distance vision. So these four classes will be matched to patient's need. We need to know what's the outcome a patient desires what's the surgeries they've had in the past and what's the condition in their eye. 
then a PI surgeon who is comfortable with all these classes and different versions of these lenses can choose the best one for that particular patient. In fact, sometimes you might want to mix and match like one class in one eye and another class other to get the best outcome for what patient desires.